Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I hope you're all well, back again for another video. Uh, I'm calling this one Fat House. Uh, if you play The Sims regularly, then you would know the house that I'm talking about. Um, it's been on the opening splash page like forever now. Um, and of course, uh, they must have read my mind because by the time this video comes out, they've actually changed it to something new. It's really annoying, but uh, yeah, anyway, I um, I finally caved the other day uh, when it was still there and I downloaded it uh, and placed it in one of my worlds. And I was really intrigued at how the original builder had made the roofs um, and how it was all put together. Um, and I do have to say the original builder of this house is so incredibly talented. Like I have been playing The Sims for a very long time, um, but just the way they put it all together, like the pieces they've, they've used and um, yeah, it's really cool. She's done a really good job. Um, and not just that, but to top it off, um, they only use base game to make it. Like what a bloody legend. Like just to use base game that's it's so limiting but um yeah no they've done really well uh, me on the other hand i have used all the packs under the sun <laughs> um which i'm pointing out you know because i am aware that well not everyone has all the packs um so it's definitely on my list to do some base game only builds or builds that you know only use one or two packs so that more people can download them if they want to yeah, so definitely thinking about that for some future builds. Um, as for this build though, I, um, I don't you know, I don't think it needed a makeover, but I just wanted to put a bit of my own spin on it and do a little bit of an updated version. Like it's been out for a few years now and yeah, um, obviously they limited it to, to base game. So I wanted to use a few extra bits and pieces. Um, so yeah, we're just going around and uh, redoing the outside now. I just choosing a, a different color scheme that I thought was a bit more modern, a bit more now. Um, I really love what she's done with this roof, uh, but I thought it would be cool if we could somehow include a massive skylight, which would obviously not work in real life because that would be way too big. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I think it sort of opens it up a little bit uh, and I end up, yeah, here we go now, I'm putting some skylights underneath as well so that we get a bit more light into the house, make it a bit more airy. Um, turned out well. Um, just a bit of a new splash here on the driveway and the pathways. Um, yeah, I mean it was already pretty modern, but I guess this is a more of a maybe Scandi design. Um, it just yeah, more of what what I would do. Um, I uh, stayed fairly close to the original design. I didn't do any like major renovations. There's a few bits and pieces that I moved around um, the two pillars there you can see in the middle where the garbage is and I've put all the slats on it at the top of that I merged that into one structure um, just made more sense to me and then I, I put some skylights on that which worked really well because it put a bit of light in the, into the, the top floor um, just going through here and redoing the landscaping I wanted to start on the outside I usually I always start on the interior, um, so I thought I'll start on the outside so we can that can be nice and fresh. Um, it's definitely occasionally I rush the end uh, when you just want to be done sometimes and you just rush your landscaping. But yeah, put a bit more thought and time into this one. Um, the moss is really bright, but I do like uh, the vibes of it. Yeah, I think it came out well. I just wanted yeah bits of moss and a few little cactuses and a few other bushes and things so yeah we're just going through and updating those um, we yeah, got rid of the lavender here and I just put in the, the normal green one yeah even even the garden I didn't want to like change the design too much I just kind of updated a few bits and pieces and kept things roughly where they were um, I did end up moving that tree out the front in the front garden because it was kind of the way uh, and now we're moving inside. Um, I did shuffle some of the walls downstairs. There were, there's originally a, a really large bedroom down here uh, and I wanted all the bedrooms to be upstairs and we're going to turn that into a living and then on um, on this side here that I'm doing now that'll be the kitchen and dining and then I've got a nice big uh, uh, open entryway in the middle there. 
the stairs are in their original spot where they were before and I just update them um, and update the colors and I adjusted the, the platforms a bit just to change the style up a bit um, yeah, you can see that they're moving the platform in and then I um, end up just lining it with some of those beams you can see me searching for them I, spare, I swear this is what I spend the majority of my time doing is just going through looking for <laughs> what I have in my mind and I can't remember what they call it so I can't search for it. Uh, how long do you guys spend like just going through the catalogue trying to find what you need? Um, yeah, back to the hallway here and I just wanted to keep it nice and open so just putting some arches in. We're gonna go through it in a second. You can see out the back there I've gone through and chosen a few different flooring pieces and walls that I wanted to use. Um, and now upstairs we're just clearing everything out. Again, a lot of the layout stayed the same, the same up here. I did adjust it a bit because um, I wanted to fit the main bedroom, as I said, um, and then a little um, living area upstairs as well. So I'm just going through now and figuring out where I want everything to be, changing the colors up. For the color scheme, I wanted it to be really sort of deep colors and just nice and moody. So um, I do get rid of I change all the lighting around as well so that it's not so stark and bright and just to get a bit of mood happening in there. Um, so yeah, just adjusting it there for the the living room upstairs. I thought oh, it's not going to be big enough so I had to move some hallways around. Yeah, so we've still got a, a non-suite there in the main room which is quite large. A bit of a tree in the wall there, push that out. Um, and then they've got uh, two decks and that, that's the other reason I needed that little hallway there is because this deck on this side uh, I wanted access from the the main upper living room um, so that everyone can use it because I blocked off the the large one there for just the the main room I'm um, going through now putting a few, few feature walls in um, and I decided that I wanted to have a few different levels um, just to break this up a bit and so we're having a little um, sunken uh, living room in there, which I, I think fits the vibes for the, the colors and that that I chose It's me trying to fit the stairs in and then fighting with the railings because they kept breaking everything as per usual No curved walls in this build. Thank goodness and the last a couple of things I've been working on I've been using curved walls and they are just such a pain. They are so broken um, And then we move back to the main entryway here just wanted a spot at the end of the hall uh, with a nice spot to put your, your keys and things and I'll pop a big mirror in there going through now and choosing a little uh, bit of storage at the front there pop your shoes and your jacket off uh, nice little welcome mat struggled a bit here for this mirror I think I changed it several times um, and working with the tall ceilings like you, you know it kind of gets lost if you have something too small but I think I made that too big so yeah we do go back and change that I'm pretty sure. Um, putting a few plants in, always with the plants um, and just a few little decor bits and pieces. Um, I end up getting the, I haven't purchased any of the new stuff packs, for, well sorry not the stuff packs, the kits for ages um, but I went through and got a lot of the, the clutter ones so I added a bit more of those new pieces in afterwards as well because um, they've got some yeah great little pieces that come with the, the little clutter kits um, I was holding off buying them but yeah went out in the end um, yeah this is what I was talking about we do, do some rather than having the really bright lights everywhere a lot of the rooms have more subtle lights just wall lighting um, just gives it a really nice feel uh, this is the downstairs bathroom um, quite dark and it's a very large room for just a toilet but works works for what it is um, yeah again the quite dark and nice and moody here I am again looking for that one plant that I have in my head that I want to pull out um, <laughs> it's always the one you can never find didn't do too much in here in the um, little gym area I just updated some of the pieces and obviously adjusted the colors a little bit needs the shower out and yeah just modernized it a bit and then yeah left it how it was um, 
to the kitchen. Again, we're going for more grey tones. I love this kitchen. Um, the marble bench tops there, they look awesome. Um, yeah, just more grey tones. Nice and open, large kitchen. Um, yeah, I think it came out quite well. And this is, yeah, definitely more my style with the darker tones, darker, moodier tones. Um, there's still a few lighter pieces, like the dining room is a bit lighter just to break it up a bit, but yeah, that's definitely more my style to have the darker tones. And then, I mean, in real life, this would be so dark, like dark floors and dark walls. You would never do it, but you know, it's the Sims, we can do what we want. Um, yeah, going through and popping a little few bits and pieces in here and then just trying to work out the the rooming or the you know where, where to put things in the room to make things fit and feel nice we have a big massive dining room in here but it's really annoying with those pieces on the wall uh, coming through from the roofing um, I couldn't fix that but in the end I just kind of went with it and um, you'll see me shortly I'll add some added some extra beams and just kind of made it a feature of the wall so it sort of blends in and makes it look like it's meant to be there yeah so here we go this is the the dining table I end up going with and yeah it's a bit brighter on this side just to change it up a bit um, yeah here's me going through looking for something like what can I use to hide that thing poking through the wall um, oh, and then also what can I put on the table yeah none of none of this worked I did keep that in the end with a wine rack um, and yeah just decided to put a massive painting in the middle and then we'll just pop some uh, views either side there or columns rather sorry to try and make it look somewhat like it's just structures on the wall um, I love these curtains I went through and did all the curtains off camera because they were so fiddly with these windows um, but yeah it's mostly throughout the whole house they're the, the same dark ones with the um, customizable pieces I love how they're doing that with the curtains now makes them so much more versatile like um, and the windows just look so much better if you can uh, as you can see like here I put one on the what's the side of it rather than going over it it just makes them yeah make it appear bigger um, we shuffled this room around a little bit end up moving the stairs down that end I wanted a small seating area here I don't think I even put a TV in. There's a TV upstairs. Uh, but yeah, a small little room to gather here for when you're entertaining. And then on the other side, we're gonna do a little reading nook. Um, but just going through now and experimenting with a few different rugs, just trying to find the right one. Do you guys do this? Do you go through and like look at every single piece trying to find the one or do you know instantly what you're gonna put there? I find sometimes like I just know straight away like this rug is going to be perfect I'll go in through and find it or like before just struggle through like every single going like hearing it every single line trying to find the one rug that I want that I know is there or sometimes I'm not quite sure and I'll try a few different things um in the end here yeah we went with the deep brown one which is yeah just setting the mood again um I think it all it looks a bit iffy now but I think it does come together quite we've got the rest of the bits and pieces in um, it's much more cozy um, and yeah look, you know, yeah typical living room there's no TV but yeah, great place to to chill out enjoy the mood um, I always struggle with this lamp I love it I love um, the design of it but because it's so big like I don't know you just end up whacking your head on it I think <laughs> but it worked really well there on the corner like filled in that space and it's, it's not in the way too much um, yeah looking very cozy in the end more plants always more plants and struggling <laughs> struggling to make something fit so yeah some of these like that plant there does anyone use it at the normal size it's so massive um, I always shrink it down um, which if you don't know you can use the, the bracket keys on your keyboard um, when you're holding an object you can make it bigger or smaller uh, in certain, incre certain increments um, yeah I think this is fairly close to the um, layout that we end up with and I'm just going through now and finding a few bits and pieces again 
scouring through the whole catalog to find the one bowl that I want. Um, a few more candles just to get that a little bit more lighting in there. And then a few art pieces on the wall just to finish it off. Um, this office, again, I didn't do too much. A lot of those are original pieces. I just updated it a little bit, gave it a little bit of paint. Uh, and now we've jumped up to the upstairs and this is the, the main bedroom, which is ended up quite massive. Um, whoever lives here really loves reading because they have so many uh, bookshelves. Um, little book area, uh, reading area downstairs and then in the bedroom, this huge area with books as well. Um, I think it turned out well. Um, I kept a lot of footage of me shuffling things around and just sort of showing my process of how I build, um, which is because that's what I like to see when I'm watching videos on YouTube. I love seeing the, uh, people's thought processes and the, you know, the different iterations they go through and um, how they get to their final result. Um, so yeah, let me know if that's that's something you like to see as well. I'll keep more of it in, or should I cut more of it out? Um, you know, I certainly don't want to have um, hours and hours of me just trawling through the, the build catalog looking for things, but I think a little bit of it's good. Um, yeah, so we're just putting our bed in it, the bed area in now. Again, had just downloaded these clutter um, kits, so had a few bits and pieces that I'd picked out and worked in the driveway because <laughs> I wanted to put them somewhere. Um, going through now and finding a nice rug. Okay, went through the, these um, earthy tones. I think they match quite well. Um, on that side just to break up the room a bit. Uh, and yeah, this is where we go through and use a few of the, new, those new bits and pieces from the, well, they're not probably not new now, new to me. So I just downloaded the packs. Um, yeah, as I said before, I did most of the curtains off off camera, but just adjusting them a little bit here and there to make them work for the room. Um, and yeah, flipping into night view now. Try and I really like the soft, soft glow with the, the deep tones. I think it makes them the build have a very nice mood, which I probably mentioned a million times now. Um, but yeah, I think it works really well. Uh, rather than overexposing everything, um, I still have a quite a large balcony out here, a bit of a parents retreat I guess. Um, I guess it's been a bit of an awkward spot if you had guests they'd have to come through your room. Um, yeah so you have to make sure your bed's made. Um, but yeah a nice spot to come out and chill with a fire. I did realize um, towards the end that I've put some of those um, like corner blocks right next to the door so I had to move a few bits and pieces around because you wouldn't actually be able to get out the door and that plant was in the way um, but yeah fix that at the end and then yeah just nice nice chill vibes out there and same on this side just a couple of uh, small chairs for people to come and have a sit that'd be nice yeah similar vibes out the front there and now onto the upstairs living room um, so I wanted this to feel a bit more relaxed uh, than the one downstairs um, and it's a bit more of a like children's or teenagers retreat so it's somewhere for the kids to totter off of course you know when your parents have friends over and you don't want to be out of be out of the main rooms you'd come and chill up here with your friends or the yeah whoever, whoever's with them um, yeah, so again, lots of books in this room as well, like the whole family, not just book lovers. Um, and it's, yeah, much more relaxed. So it's definitely chill vibes with the beanbaggy looking chairs and the, the other lounges that, yeah, look like they're, I don't know, what are they made out of? Look like they're made out of, um, like old pallets or something. I don't know. Um, they kind of look a little bit handmade. Uh, and this little nook over here, I'm putting in a little desk area. Um, oh, and I remembered over here that I was going to put some art on the wall. So I came back to it. It's kind of, it's a really hard spot to find something to fit there because it was getting cut off with the bed frame and I wanted it quite large um, and obviously limited to what we've got. And what was that canvas as you saw in the end? I think it worked really well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think if that works. Um, yeah, a bit more lighting in here. Um, again, with the 
soft lighting um, and of course more plants always more plants I don't actually have any plants in my house in real life I should change that um, but yeah lots of green greenery in the sims that I don't have to look after <laughs> So I've got the, the main layout that I've, I'm happy with now and then I'm just going through and adding a few extra bits and pieces. Um, a couple of uh, picture frames at the top here that are just leaning on the wall. Um, jumping around all over the place. Me deciding on yeah, how much was too much light. Uh, over here I was doing a little study and I thought perhaps um, I did a more masculine room and whoever's in that masculine room uh, is a teenager and they're also a bit of a streamer uh, and this is where they, they, yeah, they hang out with their friends um, little record player because they're back in now but cool again um, yes yeah, so we just do a little area over here uh, I end up switching the orientation around which you'll see shortly uh, I fiddled around with a few different pieces to, to put up here and it kind of was getting excuse me, uh, a bit flooded, uh, so I, I kind of had to cut it back a bit and I think it worked well in the end. I was trying to, I was playing with the lighting here, trying to yeah, get some cool lighting happening, but yeah, in the end, like I said, it was a bit much. I'll come back to that later, I think, and I adjust it a bit. Um, looking for something to squeeze in this spot here, because she was a bit, a bit empty looking. Here we are again, struggling with this room. I played with it for a while. Um, yeah, in the end I, um, I changed the orientation of the desk and I think that works better. Um, that there you can, when you're in build mode, if you have the better buy build mod, better buy and build mod, you can actually shift click on lights and change the lighting whilst you're in build mode. So much better, such a good mod. Um, if you haven't used it before, it categorizes it gives you access to all the debug items and the live edit items so there's so much more you can use um, it also has a few other quality of life um, bits and pieces included with it as well um, just going through now and seeing if there's any little spots that need a bit more light I was struggling with this area there's a weird glitch where the, the lighting's only appearing on half of the room but I gave up in the end, it wasn't working. And then the last couple of rooms down this end, two bedrooms, um, a double bed here for more of a, a teen sim, and then the other one um, is for a, is a more young, is a younger, more feminine room. Um, I was trying not to put the beds back to back, I was trying to change the design around a little bit, but they kind of just didn't fit anywhere else. Um, so a bit of a, a blue theme in the in the bigger room and then I went for purple in the in the child's room um, for some reason I'm flicking back and forth and trying to do both of them at once I think I've settled on this one now we get most of this one done before I jump back uh, I really wanted to fit um, a dollhouse in or this place that I end up going with um, and then just lots of little bits and pieces yeah see here I'm trying to move the bed around and it's like no nah, it has to be on that wall that's where it works um, and I was struggling with that corner with that cabinet but yeah changing the, the blinds around seems to work as well oh no here we are back in the other room back and forth back and forth obviously couldn't make up my mind or I was finding things as I was going that I liked um, more books lots of books in this build um, yeah sorry back and forth back and forth again with all the the new little bits and pieces from the the new kits obviously finding bits and pieces and going oh yeah that'll look right there so i have to jump back and pop it in um again this is more like yeah showing my style of how i build like jumping back and forth i don't know some people you watch they just seem to know exactly what they're doing and what they want and they just pull it out but i'm a little bit all over the place at points um, yeah, back into here, little robot there, maybe that's left over for when they were a bit younger. Mm, in for a nice lamp and then need to put some clutter up on the walls. Um, in the end I went for this little uh, ripped 
antique, which I thought would be a typical teen might see that and go, oh, that's so cool. Pop it up on the wall. And then I wanted a yeah, poster there as well. And then back in here, uh, we need, really needed something on this wall. So I went through and put a few cute little decals up and little clouds at the moon. Um, that's one thing I didn't do actually, I didn't make a family for this house. Um, perhaps that's something I could do in another video, come back to it, because uh, it would have been uh, interesting to see who lives here and what they like. Um, that's that's pretty much it for the, the build. I'm going to jump in now and have a look at uh, the results. Here's a pan of the front. Now we'll jump in and do a tour of the house. I'm so wonky with the camera. I tried a new mod for the camera and it just seemed to make things worse. So I think I just need to practice more with the um, in first person view. I'm going to here. We've got our new living room. Looking good. Nice little book area. A study. Nothing much changed in there. Just updated a little bit. Moved a few bits and pieces around. Got our little uh, water closet downstairs. Spot for like to have a little spot downstairs for guests to use. And we've got our dining and our new modern kitchen. Nice and open, lovely big windows, lots of light. We'll pop out here, and then you've got access to the little gym. And again, kept a lot of that original, just updated bits and pieces. Hole in the ceiling, oh my god. <laughs> and let's head upstairs, so this is a little ch chill out area for the you know, kids and the teens. Nice spot to sit and watch some telly. Down the hall we can go out and there's a little mini veranda here. Nice spot to sit on a cool afternoon. And then into the main bedroom. Lovely big bed. Lots of windows. You would definitely need lots of curtains. Um, another great spot for reading. Um, this is their little bathroom, just a similar style to downstairs. I didn't show building all the bathrooms because they're all the same. This is me realizing here, I'm like, oh, that's in the way. I'm going to have to move all of that because um, you can't get through. But yeah, this is their little patio at the top there. Nice little parents retreat. And that's that half of up the top. Then we're going to pop back and have a look at the other side. So back through the upstairs living room. We've got our little study nook here for the teen with, with his um, streaming gear. Um, again, another little bathroom, same as the other ones. Um, and then into the more masculine room, big double bed again, lovely big windows, a um, little bit of clutter. And then finally, we'll go into the little girl's room. Um, Lots of bits and pieces to play with. And I've noticed again, there's a few little things that I needed to adjust. Oh, here's the here's a top down view of the house plan. Uh, this is the top level uh, with the bedrooms in the living room. And then down here, this is our ground floor. Uh, and now I'm going back and going, oops, better move that so people can actually get out there and just shuffle that around a bit. And then over here, we shuffle the little horse that toy that's floating. Put that on the ground. Because it's because I shrunk down the size of the suitcases that were floating. And finishing up now. Uh, it's up on the gallery if you want to download it. I'll pop a link down in the description. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. See ya.